This is Todd Swanson with Tiger Tail Farms here in Granite Falls, North Carolina. It's March 28th, beautiful sunshiny day, supposed to reach 70 today. So a buddy of mine, we're out here doing some walkaway splits this morning. I wanted to uh, videotape this real briefly. So for those of you that are trying to do splits this spring, this may help you. I hope it does. Uh, we've gone into one of our hives here that is very, very active, uh, full of a lot of great bees. And what we've done is we've looked for a couple frames that we can move into a five-frame nuke. And we're looking for frames that have a lot of drawn comb, looking for frames that have capped brood, and more importantly, we're looking for frames that have eggs. So as you look closely in here, we want to make sure that we find eggs that are day one to three so that they can turn those into a queen cell. So what we've done is we've managed to find several frames in this hive. I'm going to walk over here to where we're doing the splits and you'll see that we have some five frame nukes over here. And we've already done these splits so what we've done is we've taken a frame of bees from that hive that we were just at we placed them inside the box and we are making sure that the frame has eggs, some capped brood, some resources on it. We want them to be able to survive for the next two to three weeks, but we're also making sure we did not take the queen from that hive. We want that queen to stay over there. I did grab a couple medium supers, medium frames from a super because the queen had moved up but most of the frames that we brought over are large like this, okay? And we know that they have eggs in there, so they will be able to reproduce a queen on their own. So we put five frames in this nuke box, two or three frames with eggs, capped brood, another frame or two with honey, pollen, and then usually an empty frame that they can draw out on their own. This will produce a queen in the next 10 to 15 days, and I'll come back out in about 10 days to make sure that they have started to make a queen cell and then I know that this hive is going to reproduce successfully.